Hi everyone, this is Sharon. I was in my studio this morning working on using up some paper scraps that were sitting around and I decided maybe I would just turn my camera on and show you what I was doing. Um, I decided to make a whole bunch of corner page markers for my journals and I created them in a way that they also serve as um, page tabs. So I've got a couple here I'll make on camera with you and then I'll show you all the ones that I made earlier this morning. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just making some corner page markers like this and then I'm either stitching or gluing in a way that they would also create a tab along the side of your page. So as you can see, these all stick out along the side. So let's get started on these. I just have a couple of paper scraps here. Um, you can make these in all different sizes and shapes. The sky's the limit. There's so many variations on this. I really started thinking about all the different things you could do. Um, so these are just happen to be the size of the scraps that I had. Um, this one is about, let's see, about th just shy of three and a half by just shy of two and a half. And this one is just shy of four inches by two and a half. Now, if you want them fairly square, um, a lot of them I was doing four inches by two and a half. And that way you would have a two inch square on your page and then you would have a half an inch to work with for your tab portion. Now, these are really versatile because you can either have your tab out the side or you can flip it around and have your tab out the top as well. So... For these two, I thought maybe I would just use some scraps of lace and pom-pom trim that I have here. And I thought that would be a pretty embellishment on the side there for the tab. So as I mentioned, I did stitch a number of mine with decorative stitches, but I also glued some, and these I'll just glue. So what I'm going to do is glue along the inside to create the tab along the side of my page. And I'm just going to take some of my Fabri-Tac and run a bead of glue there. And just close that up. So then that will sit nicely in the corner. This is folded up on this side. And I think what I'll do with this one is also round this corner. Now on some of the other examples that I made earlier, I've used like these fancy corner punches. I've used my rounded punch. This is a large one. And then this, I like this a lot. It's got a small, medium, large corner rounder on it. And then for some of them, I also used some edge punches. So I think for this one, I want just want to slightly round that corner. So I think I'll use my medium. <laughs> and just round that. Okay, so I've got this edge glued, and now I'm just going to take my lace piece and glue that on there. Really a fun, simple project. Doesn't take long. In a matter of a few minutes, you've got one put together. And while you're making that one, you can start thinking about variations for the next one. And it's a really nice place to use up some of those more bulky trims and things because that piece will be on the outside of your pages and not within your journal pages. So that's why I picked this one with the little pearl trim on there. I think that's really pretty. And let's, well, I guess I was going to do lace on the back side too since you do see both sides. So I will... Do the back side of this one. There, now it looks pretty from both sides. So that's that one. And then this one I will glue in the same manner. So I will just run a bead of glue. I think for gluing the paper, pretty much any kind of glue will do. Um, for fabric and laces and things, I really do like to use the Fabri-Tac. 
Okay, so that will sit on the page like that. And I think for this one, maybe I'll use my really large corner punch. And just round that like that. And then I'll put my pom-pom trim along this side. I think rather than trying to cut it off and work with a small piece, I'm just gonna run my glue on here and put my trim over it and then cut it off after. Okay. Just glue that on. That should grab fairly quickly. I think that's pretty. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut this off. that would make a really cute addition to the corner of a page. So let's try those out in my little book here. All right, so find a page and just pull those open, clip it on, and you have yourself a little page marker. And if you close it up, you can see that fun little trim sticking out the side. We have that one, and then let's look at this one. Yeah. Now these are just on plain copy paper. If you put them on cardstock or something heavier, um, you know, they would be a little bit sturdier, but I think that's really pretty. And that's how it looks sticking out the edge of the page. And as I mentioned, these are versatile, so you can flip it and also have it sticking out the top if you'd like as well. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other ones I made this morning. So here I did a stitching one. I just did a plain straight stitch along the side. Then I took one of my decorative edge scissors and cut the edge of it, and then added a paper button on there. That's cute. And then let's see what it looks like. We've got this one. This one I made a little bit larger. Now you can make these quite large and use them as, you know, a corner tuck as well. Here I just stuck a little tag in there to show you. But on this one I did a loop-de-loop -loop kind of a stitch on the edge. I added a wax seal on there as well and then used my large rounder for that corner. This one I totally rounded the corner. And I just cut that by hand and also did a decorative stitch on that one. This one, I decided to stitch across the top and the sides so it st sticks out, you know, on both sides. Something different. Now, I mean, as far as paper scraps go, sky's the limit there too. I had some extra um, printables that I was working with. You can use old book pages, um, music paper, you know, a lot of your scrapbooking paper that you want to use up, anything like that would really work well. Here I used a piece of um, a scrap paper that I had embossed. And on this one, I just did a little blanket stitch, some slow stitching along the side to create my tab. That's kind of fun. Then these two I did a little bit differently. I folded um, my piece of paper over and I just stitched across the top where the fold is. So that leaves, you know, your two bottom flaps loose. And then you can just put that over a page and slide it anywhere you want, across the top or down the side. Here I took a piece of music paper and did a decorative punch edge along that one, stitched across the top. Here I used one of those corner um, punches. I think that's really pretty. And then this last one, I took a piece of fabric and glued it to cardstock and then added a wax seal and some twine. And then I just used my pinking shears and went along the edges for that one. So I think that's a pretty look too. 
And that is not my last one. I got one more. <laughs> so if you get bored with gluing and stitching, you can also use washi tape. On this one, I just took some paper I had and sealed the edge with a piece of washi tape. And then I just loosely tore the edge here and here for that one. So that is my little project for this morning. I hope that provided you with a little bit of inspiration on how to use up some of your paper scraps that are just hanging around. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this this morning. I promised some tutorials in January and I didn't get there. Oh, crazy month. So I thought, okay, today I'm turning on the camera and we're just going to have a little fun. So thanks for joining me today and until next time, bye-bye.